I have been living in New York for a long time, the last for 10 years, and have made art in, let's say, on, a, on this commercial um, platform. And all these gallery spaces, they all have a, one dominant factor. They are entirely white, and even the floor is like white or light gray, and so. I guess at some point I was looking for a different setting. Um, like what, how does my work operate in a, in a, in a non-white cube setting? What does a white cube stand for? Um, it certainly stands for, you know, uh, like an ahistoric space. There is no history. And what I was drawn to when I started showing in, in, in completely different architectural settings like Casa Gilardi in Mexico, um, Museo Anahuacali, um, these spaces have, have a history to themselves. So it's not only, let's say, these have walls with color or these um, have an arched door, like uh, whilst the other one has the fake arch. It, I think um, it was more the historic dimension that started to interest me. Like put the work I do now in a situation that is maybe from the 70s, maybe it's from the 1800s, maybe it's from 2000 years ago. So mm, let's say I'm curious to see, you know, what it means to be to to make paintings now. I had always investigated, let's say, the painting as an object itself. Um, I was playing, you know, with the idea of turning the painting around that you what you see is actually on the back side of the painting so some kind of self irony maybe I'm not even making paintings I'm just mm, making the back sides of the paintings and so I think from from these kind of maybe double negations I became interested in you know, how the paintings relate to their um, to more than that to more than what they are. I don't know how to say it.